say anything, anything I want. The Bill of Rights. So important. This is what the United States is known for around the world. Doesn't mean it's perfect. We know that. But freedom, the Bill of Rights. It's where, this is why people risk their life to get to the United States sometimes. It's really personal. Really like the wall effect. This is what the United States stands behind, the Bill of Rights. Thing link, number five, Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights, educating young people about the Constitution. I don't like that at all. Bill of Rights, educating all people about the Constitution. It's not just young people. Adults need to know their rights, certainly too, and knowing them correctly. Correcting false narratives will leave adults to make better choices. So it's all people. First 10 amendments to the Constitution make up the Bill of Rights. Amendments, that was added. Think about adding stuff to pizza. It changes the pizza if you add um, mushrooms or anchovies. The first 10 amendments written by James Madison in, in response to co greater constitutional protection for individual liberties. That means the people needed more protection that their rights would not be violated. Federalists argued a constitution did not need a Bill of Rights. Anti-Federalists held that a Bill of Rights was necessary to safeguard individual liberty. The Bill of Rights came out of this. They were ratified in 1791. So we get to have our rights. That's what the Bill of Rights is. No, no, we don't have a problem with your religion. It's just we're getting complaints about the flying saucers out front. First Amendment protects personal freedoms. You can be whatever religion, but you got to be careful where you park your flying saucers. Amendment one, and I'll read most of these, not all of them. Congress should make no law respecting establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right to people to gather, assemble. First Amendment. Um, here's where it came into play. Kent from Jackson, Mississippi. I want to watch Sesame Street like all the other cool kids in the United States, 1970. Sesame Street was what's banned in Mississippi. First Amendment protects personal freedoms. Sunny day. So again, Kent wanted to watch Sesame Street. Here's what the court said. Sesame Street was banned in Mississippi because of its racially integrated cast. Sesame Street began in 1969. It was a hugely important program. Not all kids went to preschool or even kindergarten in 1969. So this was a public television way to get more kids ready with their letters, with their numbers, with their colors for school because not every kid had that opportunity. So it was that important of a program, Sesame Street. Mississippi wouldn't show it because you had those kids and those kids playing with those kids. Eventually, the court said, you need to show it. Win for the Bill of Rights. I love it. Say, Ernie, would you like some ice cream? Sure, Bert. <laughs> Second Amendment, right to bear arms. Going deer hunting again, Phil. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state gives the right of the people to keep arms. Second Amendment. Third Amendment prohibits quartering of soldiers in private homes. Hi, guys. Mail's here. Do you have any more chips? Can you get MTV on this? That's music television. Samuel Adams beer. Here we go. Third Amendment. No soldier should in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner. Now, in wartime, it's different. The United States is trying to win the war. I lose some of my rights. They could take over my house because we're trying to win the war. Fourth Amendment. Protects from unreasonable search and seizures. Fourth Amendment. Warrant. Well, I guess you can search the place, but shouldn't you close your eyes and count to 100, is what this person said. The right of people to be secure in their persons, houses, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures should not be violated. Fourth Amendment. Fifth Amendment. Right to a fair trial. You're innocent till proven guilty. Remember, you don't have to admit to anything. Bob was here. Sixth Amendment, right to a speedy trial with assistance of counsel. 
Sixth Amendment. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused should enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district. Let's go back to this. What this means, if if you if somebody gets arrested, they have to charge you within 48 or 72 hours. It means you have to be arraigned. They have a hearing. If there's enough evidence, you will go to trial. If there's not enough evidence, they have to let you go. So that's the first thing that happens is an arraignment. Otherwise, they could leave you in jail for years without ever charging you. So within the first 48 or 72 hours, there's an arraignment hearing. If the judge thinks there's enough evidence to go to trial, then you'll go to trial. And if not, you get to go free. Amendment 7, resolves disp disputes with a jury trial. The bad news is we're going to have a tough time finding an impartial jury. Look at this person. It suits at common law where the value in controversy should exceed $20, you get a jury trial. Um, and this is tougher than it used to be with social media, with so much public knowledge of, of court cases. Sometimes court cases get moved out of Warren County. They're tried in Woodbury County because there's too much prejudice towards a guilty verdict or a non-guilty verdict. There's so much news instantaneously anymore that's hard to find 12 jurors or nine that don't have an opinion either way if the person's guilty or not guilty even before it starts. Impartial jury, Seventh Amendment. Eighth Amendment, excessive bail should not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Iowa could use the death penalty. It's a state right. Missouri uses it. Texas uses it. But Iowa deems it cruel and unusual punishment. So Iowa hasn't used the death penalty since 1976, but we have the right to. Ninth Amendment. Chill, Dad. I'm pretty sure this haircut is protected by the Ninth Amendment. Look at that young fella. Oh, that's Mr. Halstead. Look at that shirt. Chill, Dad. Protects individual rights not listed. So if the federal government isn't listed with this right, this, the people have this right. It's with the Ninth Amendment. It protects our rights even farther. Protects individual rights not listed. Tenth Amendment. Prote protects states' rights. Welcome to the White House, Mr. President. Before you get too comfortable, I'd like to point out these 50 things we call states. Does that mean I get to wear this? Hail to the chief. No. You're not a king. You don't get to wear that. Protect states' rights. Tenth Amendment. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved for the states respectively, like speed limits would be an example. Are to the people, like the Ninth Amendment. The Bill of Rights. Love them. Number one, freedom of speech. Two, right to bear arms. Three, quartering of soldiers. Four, arrest and seizures. Five, rights of persons accused of crime, innocent till proven guilty. Six, rights of persons on trial for crime. Seven, jury trials in civil cases. Limitations on bail and punishments. Eight, nine, rights kept by the people. Ten, powers kept by the states are the people. The Bill of Rights, America, freedom, pretty good thing. Write down your characters, what, write down what your characters will say and do to explain what the Founding Fathers did to protect the individual rights of citizens in 1791. Pick three amendments in the Bill of Rights that you think are the most important to explain to that fifth grader. How does it protect that fifth grader's life today, in high school, and in 30 years from now? How does it protect that fifth grader? What's the rights say? Next page. Write down what your characters will say and do to explain how the Constitution impacts their lives today and why they should know about it. What's the value of the Constitution and certainly the Bill of Rights? How's it, again, going to protect that student? What do you love about the Constitution? Does it give you hope? Which three amendments in the Bill of Rights do you believe are the most important today to you? Make it personal. What are the Bill of Rights? Minimum one page in your comic book. Explain what the Founding Fathers did to protect the individual rights of citizens. 
Conclusion, explain to the fifth graders how the Constitution impacts their lives today and why they should know about it. What's it say about bullying? Okay, how does it protect that fifth grader? What's it protect that fifth grader um, in, in a lot of different ways? So make it personal like I talked about. So that is the Bill of Rights and on your conclusion page. Connect it to 2020 as you go through it. The Bill of Rights, freedom, America. Love it.